this painting experience, my trek experience, well, it's been an experience. Woo! Let me just say that yesterday I told you guys that I have new decals and you guys definitely rushed over to machinemerch.com and purchased some decals. In case you missed yesterday's video, these are the new decals. They are found at machinemerch.com. Get them while they're hot, get them while they're in stock. Besides the decals, my skills are getting a little hotter, believe it or not. I I'm, I didn't script the audio so much today as I have the last two vlogs. I completely destroyed the audio, I understand. I'm a terrible person, you guys. Don't you understand that? I, I clicked that wrong button on the microphone just to piss people off. I don't, but maybe I should because you guys are loving it in the comment section. And come on, it's it's awesome to complain, right? So so it gives you something easy to complain about because I mean other than that, my content's pure gold. Do, do you see what shirt I'm wearing right now? It kind of looks familiar, right? But anyways, without getting too far off the beaten path, let, let's let's start the story. Josh and I got the truck completely primed got it ready for paint, and then painted the truck. We no longer used this $8 Harbor Freight Special that matches my apparel perfectly. I didn't plan that. We used this for the primer, but we didn't want to use it for the base coat or the clear coat or anything like that because we didn't want we didn't want the results that this would produce. I like the fact that the Harbor Freight Special is now like a term. It's probably in the Urban Dictionary. Now I've given the analogy before that it's it's kind of like asking a girl out or a, a guy out, obviously, if you're a girl or or if you're bisexual, whatever. Let's not let's not open that can of worms. But there are steps. You can't just come off as a creep. You can't just totally rush into it. It doesn't work like that. So after we prepped everything, we got it primed and things like that. This is how the paint job came out after I backed the truck out. That tent is working great. It worked great. I don't think I can keep it up year round though because New York State will probably start charging me tax on it because New York State's a wonderful place to live just in case uh, you don't know or you do not live here. Tax rate's beautiful. It's a fantastic thing. I think it's like higher than everybody else. Well, maybe California beats us. Anyways, after we painted the truck, we did the doors. We didn't want to just leave the doors on the stands because Josh said sometimes the paint doesn't come out as good because the lines and gravity and He's the paint professional, not me, and that's why I called him. So that is why we hung the doors up. I have mentioned this before, and that is, you know, this whole paint process has been a huge pain in the ass. It's been time consuming, it's been expensive, it's been time consuming, and it's been expensive and repetitious. <laughs> that, that pun was kind of intended. Send it. So we can clean it and send it. I like the sound of that. But then something kind of bad happened.
<laughs> I was just working on the truck. I was peeling back the tape and peeling back the newspaper and, and life was good. The, the, pro the truck was done. Now it's just time for reassembly. Then Josh came up to me with this. I don't think we're gonna have enough paint. That's right. You do not want to hear your paint guy saying that. That means he's confused. That means he's anxious. That means he's stressed out. And, and it doesn't stop there. We got to the last two coats on the door. Well, actually, we had, I think, three coats on the one door and one coat on the other door, and we just completely ran out of paint. It was my fault because I ordered the paint, and like I said, I only have like five or six days worth of experience painting vehicles. So when my numbers are wrong and I only ordered a certain amount of paint, obviously the blame's on me. But then I remember my good buddy Ryan, gave him a call, we headed over to his place and got the paint. The mighty stealth, is that what he calls his car? We went in that thing. Yo, we're riding in the beast? Yeah, man. Yeah, it looks just like my truck. Mighty stealth. Mighty stealth. <laughs> Going? Got the paint game back, applied it, applied the clear coat. We had plenty of clear coat. We actually have clear coat still left over. The whole lack of paint situation was the biggest dilemma doing this truck. And, and we got nervous. I got nervous, Josh got nervous. Now, if you were here, you'd be nervous as well. We got it figured out. We got it dialed in. We applied the paint. The paint is going to dry. We are going to assemble it tomorrow. I'm super excited about it. We're gonna finally reveal the Duramax. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be able to finally drive a hot new truck. I hope you enjoyed my narration. I was very busy while I was helping with Josh. That's why I didn't do a lot of talking. But as long as you get the 3D Machines production, who's complaining? I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you want any new stickers, any new decals, the link will be in the description. It is machinemerch.com. They look hot. Get them while they're in stock. Hope you enjoy your day. 3D Machines out. Let me tell you, Josh. Here's your kids.